Good evening all, I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing here. It's my first time using thrift books. The experience online wasn't bad, but you're the mercy of the postal service, so the delivery can be interesting. See, just a package here. Got these to refill my uh, little free library. Hold this first one, which took the longest. The first on the stack, not the first period. <clears throat> nope. So, we've got a cat who could read backwards. And an Alex Ryder novel, which I thought would be cool for the little free library. It's turning out someone, something for everyone. Our second book here. Let's see here. There we go. So our second here, Cater Street Hangman by Ann Perry. According to the cover here, it's an uh, A and E mysteries presentation. It's new to me. I mean, I was a big fan of the Neural Wolf series they did. Before I, you know, send them outside uh, in the box, I'll just look through them like this, make sure no one did anything really bizarre in the book. Move the stickers if I can. Let me see how this does. That actually came up pretty nicely. Let's see, and this one here. Fox Riders got a price tag, a couple here, make them look a little bit nicer. Hopefully they'll come off easily. Let's see. Kind of like with gifts, you know, removing the price tag. They, there you go, that's as good as you're gonna get, I think. I'm gonna look here, another sticker. There we go, penguin. Now this is that Cajou series. I'm more of a uh, reader of uh, Joe Gray series, but these aren't bad. Let's get the sticker here. Let's see here, we're gonna peel. Stickers here, there we go. And that's going to be the three. You can have one or two adults here, you know, for older readers, older readers here. Got one for the young adults. And locally, in my local uh, Sabres, I picked up this book here, which will be going in the library as well. And uh, this is my, uh, these three are my first experience with thrift books. And it's not a bad experience, but you just kind of kind of you have to say, well, if I want these books and I want to read them, don't think, oh my gosh, I'm going to read it the next night because you're contending with the U.S. Postal Service. That is the only downside of the purchases is the Postal Service. Because mine, when I deliver, ordered these, they, they went, I live in Virginia, they went from Alabama and Texas through Virginia to York, Pennsylvania and then back again. How the uh, Postal Service thinks that's really bright, I don't know. But it, you know, it's what it is. But otherwise, you know, thrift books seems to be pretty good. These books are in pretty good shape. A little, you know, spine wear. Nice covers though. And the writing on this one, which is not a biggie. Mont, whoever Mont is. Mont View, Mont Blanc, who knows. But the, the binding's good. Covers in reasonable shape. This one's in pretty nice shape. A little coffee stain, maybe. Maybe, or just something else. But it's just, the book's good. I don't know if there's any water damage or anything else. And three books for $15 isn't bad when you compare it to like $9 a book or more. Well, I hope this has you know, been a fun experience. And for my fellow little free library, stewards. 
Hope you're having a great time with your libraries and the uh, thrift book site is not a bad option for that. When you want to refill them, this is going to be my, my, my spring refilling for the library. Have a good night, everyone.